Choosing a smart security camera from the Xiaomi ecosystem is not an easy task, as right now there's eight different cameras, so let's just test all of these cameras out and perhaps make your choice a little bit easier. Let's go! So here I've got the full lineup of smart Wi-Fi cameras that Xiaomi has in store, all of which work with the Mi Home app. All of these cameras have two-way audio and infrared sensors to film in the dark and all of them can record continuously as well as start recording when they detect motion. We'll look at their footage in light and dark and we're checking out the audio from both the speaker and the microphone. Now let's first have a look at all these uh, stationary cameras. The first smart Wi-Fi camera Xiaomi ever had in store was this 720p Yi camera. It's over 3 years old and its video quality is not the best. It's got a 110 degrees wide angle lens that's uh, capable of recording 720p footage. Its speaker is really not the best but the recorded audio is really not that bad. This camera is by far the slowest to connect to, sometimes almost needing 30 seconds to connect. You gotta note that this camera is not for sale in the Xiaomi store in China any longer but you could probably still find it through the online resellers, although it would not be my number one choice. The next one on the list is this Xiaomi Mija camera, which has a shape that looks quite similar to the Yi cam. This one shoots 1080p full HD video through its 130 degrees wide angle lens, and it looks uh, definitely a lot better than the Yi camera, although its uh, white balance makes many shots look more yellow and orange. At night, it does do uh, quite a bit better as the Yi as well, and its speaker and microphone are not that bad either. This camera actually functions as a Bluetooth gateway hub, so that is something that uh, does give this camera a little bit more functionality. Next we've got this rather unusual looking square camera. This Xiaofang camera shoots 1080p full HD footage through its 110 degrees wide angle lens. Its footage does look really good for such a small camera. In the dark it's not really that bad either. In terms of audio this one scores quite a bit lower as both the microphone and the speaker sound like you would expect for such a small plastic camera. One cool thing is that you should be able to place two of these cameras on top of each other to get a full 180 degrees field of view. Since I've only got one here, I have not been able to test that out though. Next on the list is this super small round Imilapse camera. And even though it is one of the newer cameras, it does only shoot 720p footage through its 100 degrees wide angle lens. Its video footage scores quite a bit lower, but at night it actually seems slightly sharper than some of the others. In my test, the frame rate dropped from 15 during the day to 5 FPS when it's using its infrared sensor. This might explain why it is a little bit sharper at night. In terms of audio, this one is the least favorable of all of the tested cameras, as both the microphone as well as the speaker don't sound too well. This is also the camera that is the quickest to switch to infrared mode when the others are still capturing enough light. Next we're gonna look at three different rotating cameras that can all rotate 360 degrees and tilt as well. Starting with the 720p Media 360 camera, this can record 720p footage and comes with a 100 degrees wide angle lens. Its footage is quite decent and colors are actually pretty accurate even though it's just a 1280 by 720p image. At night its frame rate drops from 15 to 5 frames per second to create better night images. Its audio is okay but again definitely not the best of the bunch. Then we've got the more expensive Media 360 camera which shoots 1080p full HD footage through its 100 degrees wide angle lens. In the app you can do a video and voice call to this camera which I think is the only camera that has this feature. This camera also comes with a built-in AI speaker that can be asked some general questions. It's not nearly as developed as Xiaomi's AI speaker but it is kind of cool. Its video quality is definitely not higher than the 720p camera and it's giving a very contrast heavy image. And although its frame rate stays at 15 frames per second for both day and night shots, I find its night shots to be really washed out and even a bit blurry. In my tests the the 720p camera definitely outperforms this one. Its microphone does sound a little bit better, which I guess makes sense for the built-in AI, but I found that its speaker does not really perform well and is actually worse than the 720p camera. Next we've got this 1080p Dafan camera. This camera comes with a 120 degrees wide angle lens that can shoot full HD 1080p video. Its video quality is probably the best of all of the cameras, especially during the day. Its image looks really good. Its night shots are really much brighter than all of the other cameras, which at times might even 
even be a little bit too bright as it looks a little bit overexposed here. Its microphone also seems to be one of the best of all of the tested cameras, but its speaker scores a bit lower. Altogether, it does score quite well. One specific feature to this camera is its ability to track motion. I'm quite sure the other 360 cameras used to have that as well, but currently this was only possible with this Dafan camera. Also, it's got the highest video bitrate of all of the tested cameras, so this Dafan camera actually has a lot going for it. And then last but not least, I wanted to include this new Akara Gateway camera. This camera shoots 1080p full HD video and has a 180 degrees wide angle fisheye lens. Yes, that is 180 degrees. Its image looks uh, pretty good, but it's hard to compare as it's really significantly wider. Its image does look a little less sharp than some of the other cameras, but I think that its main purpose is to catch the whole field of view rather than being very sharp in a narrow and closed view. And overall it does give a pretty good picture. It has really good audio and even though its a microphone records significantly softer, the audio quality is really really good. Its speaker is actually the best of all of the tested cameras. What makes this camera stand out next to its super wide angle lens is its gateway functionality which allows you to pair all the sensors and switches from the Mi Home ecosystem with this camera over Zigbee which I find to be a really great benefit. So I must point out that this camera has just shipped its first batch after its initial crowdfunding. So as it is in beta, some of its features might still change and improve upon the actual release. Now let's look at the, what I think the winners are. I'm trying to take functionality, price and quality all in consideration here. So if you're looking for one of the stationary cameras, I found the Xiaofang to perform really well in terms of its video quality, but one of its downsides is that it might easily move because of its weight. For image quality versus price, I vouch for the Xiaofang, but for functionality and design, I am picking the Akara. The Akara does not have such good image quality as the Xiaofang, but the large field of view might be exactly what you're looking for. Its added gateway functionality definitely makes it one of my personal favorites. For the 360 cameras, the best choice is very obvious. None of the two tested media cameras are as cheap as the Dafang, and frankly, I find the Dafang to have the best video quality, so for the 360 cameras, this clearly is the winner. I've put down links to all of these cameras in the description in case you want to check these out, and I've posted a lot more details about these cameras on the website as well. This video took me weeks to actually make, so if you think this video has helped you make your choice a little bit easier, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done that yet because I'm covering a ton of products from the Xiaomi ecosystem right here on the channel. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon.